Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. We've got a new background going on here. I'll be filming in this room from time to time, so hopefully you guys like it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be providing a review of the MZ Wallace Marlena backpack that you see right here. As I do with all my bag reviews, I'll give you all the basic information on the bag, show you how I personally pack it, provide you with some mod shots, and then end the video with my thoughts on the bag. So if you have been contemplating and wondering a bit about this beautiful backpack, stay tuned. I had to push the camera back a bit because I realized in my introduction that the backpack was filling up the frame completely and was kind of almost too in your face. So we're a little spaced back now from the camera so that you can see this beautiful backpack, hopefully a little bit easier. According to the MZ Wallace website, the Marlena backpack is 10.4 inches in length, 4.9 inches in width, 13 inches tall, and weighs 1.65 pounds. It currently retails for $385 and is available, last I looked, in two solid colors. This particular one obviously is not solid. It is the camouflage color that they released a few years back. As you can see here, you've got one zip pocket in the front, opens up to a nice generous compartment that includes that slot over here that MZ Wallace has in, I think, every single one of their bags for a a uh, commuter card or business card, credit card even, I guess, if there's one you want to keep handy. There is a zip pocket on both sides, also very generous. You can see it has a little uh, accordion type flap here, which is nice so it doesn't completely fall open. And like I said, it's a generous compartment. Both uh, side pockets are identical. There's no extra compartments within them. On the bottom, you've got four feet on the backpack as well as the diamond MZ Wallace logo which there you go you can see it right there backside you've got the straps obviously and they are adjustable as you can see here you can make it as short or as long as you'd like and you've got the top handle right here the back has no extra pockets or anything that's you know, hidden in that regard, like a hidden compartment. But actually, we'll get to it on the inside. There is a hidden compartment inside. You've got the lovely grommets here on both sides. It is a snap button to open it, as well as then this drawstring that gets you in to the main compartment. But before we get into that, I did want to tell you, or show you rather, the hidden compartment I was just referencing. It's in this flap right here. You open it up and this top flap has this hidden compartment. It's kind of a nice option to have if you wanted something that wasn't fully exposed every time you open the backpack, something you wanted to conceal, perhaps maybe some feminine products. Might be a good place to hide them if you wanted to store some extra cash or a credit card you know, away from all your others, good place to hide it. Take out the stuffing and show you the interior. Nice deep compartment that will hold a ton. Now I'm sure you've noticed MZ Wallace typically provides a market pouch with all their bags. The Marlena backpack, at least this old one, and I don't think any of the new ones do either, but it does not have a market pouch. So there is no extra little baggie that comes with it. And as a result of that, there is no string with the D-ring at the end for you to link that to because you don't have the market pouch. So that's just something to keep in mind if that's something that you really look for or really love with MZ Wallace, know that when it comes to Marlena, it doesn't come with that. Since the front zip pocket here had that compartment for your commuter card, it's not on the inside here. You've got the traditional leather zip compartment right here that will then open up to feature two more pockets inside this nice generous zip pocket. But like I said, the commuter card slot is out here in this front zip compartment on the outside. It is not in here. And this compartment, I mean, if you can tell how far in my hand goes, it's, it's quite generous, this interior pocket. The other side has its two 
traditional pockets, this big one that's meant for cell phones, and then this flatter compartment. And let's see, am I missing anything here? I guess if you want to see the details of the zip pull, see it's got MZW there, and it's really substantial, it's quite heavy. What I will do now is show you how I pack it up. All right, here is the MZ Wallace Marlena backpack completely empty. Before I start loading it up, I wanted to share with you my plan as far as this section of the video is concerned. What I will do is first pack it up with the basic items that I would carry when running errands, which translates to not that much in the way of items. And then I will show you some mod shots of the backpack with those basic items in there. Then what I will do is come back here and load up Marlena to its capacity to give you an idea of A, how much it can hold, and then when it comes to the mod shots, show you B, how it looks when it is fully loaded. So keeping that in mind, we will start now with the basic load of the Marlena backpack. We will start with this compartment right here, this little hidden compartment that I referenced earlier. Like I said, you could probably put some personal items in there. We will use this pouch as an example of said personal items. As you can see, it is a nice size pouch and it can hold quite a lot and it will fit into this compartment without any issue at all. And actually having it loaded in this compartment gives the Marlena backpack flap some fluff and some nice texture and bulk to it. So it actually kind of helps the cause as far as the overall look of the backpack is concerned. So I kind of do like utilizing this compartment because like I said, it kind of helps the overall look of the backpack. Scooching that down in a way, you see the main compartment is empty right now but when running errands, you can't leave home without a wallet. For me, it is the Louis Vuitton full-size origami wallet, which I will place right in there. Also coming with me is my MZ Wallace pouch that I am currently using as my catch-all for all my oral hygiene products. I am on the tail end of my Invisalign treatment, so I do need to carry a toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, uh, case for my trays, all that good oral hygiene stuff. I will place that all in here and then in the bag. And that is it for that main compartment. Moving on to this interior zip compartment right in here, I will put a mirror to keep handy because you never know as a, as a lady when you might need a mirror. Lip products. So you've got some lipstick, lip liner, and lip gloss. And what I will do is actually not just throw this in that main interior compartment, I will actually put it in one of these two compartments right in here. This way they will remain in place inside the bag and not go floating back and forth within this interior bag, possibly opening up and then staining the interior lining. We want to avoid that. And by placing them in here, it kind of limits the space that these items have to kind of roam free. So. That is it for this zip pocket right in here. Move on to the outside here just to kind of give you an idea of how much these pockets out here can hold. Typically what I do in this front main exterior pocket, I will place a pair of sunglasses. And obviously if the case is too big and does not fit in here, I will put it in the uh, main compartment of the backpack, but this case does fit in this pocket. So it will go in there and remain handy right over there. And then in either one of these side compartments, I will typically place my iPhone. I'm filming on it right now, so I cannot actually show you the iPhone, but I have one of my cases. It is an iPhone 8 Plus, and it will fit into this side compartment perfectly. Zips closed, all done. And that is it. When I'm running some errands, I don't need too much. Just put those few items in there and I'm ready to go. There is Marlena, all packed and ready to go. Give you a quick 360. And now what I will do is provide you a mod shot of the backpack with these basic items on me.
All right, let's see how much Marlena can hold. As you can see, we've got the basic items are still in here that I initially placed into the backpack, but now we're gonna add to it and see how much Marlena can hold. We're starting off with a 25 ounce bottle from Swell, you guys, 25 ounce. It goes in there. 25 ounce bottle of Swell fits, no problem. Wet wipes them in there. Got a nice catch-all pouch from Le Sport Sack. Pretty substantial in size. Got my Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the limited edition burgundy sequins. Absolutely love it. It just makes me so happy every time I see it. Another catch-all type bag. Pochette, mini pochette actually. The MZ Wallace Betty Pouch. As you've seen in my previous videos, I use this for loyalty cards and coupons. And actually what I will do is place this in the interior compartment here along with the mirror. As I mentioned when I was packing this initially, the sunglasses that I packed fit in here, but if and when you have a sunglass case like this one, which is a little too tall for that exterior compartment, it will have to go into the main compartment of the bag and obviously it will do so without any problems right there got my chanel card holder which i will place into the cell phone compartment since my cell phone is in this side pocket right here and speaking of side pockets on that other side what i'm going to do is place some kleenex because you never know when you might need Kleenex. You want to keep that handy, right? Place it in there. And lastly, a Lululemon Vinyasa scarf. This is a nice lightweight scarf to keep on hand in the summer. If and when you're in a building that has some high air conditioning, you can unsnap this bad boy and use it as a little shawl. Or in the winter, if you need an extra layer, you could put this on, throw it in there right on the top. And I would say we've got Marlena packed to the max comfortably. Not too much, but certainly haven't wasted an ounce of its real estate. Let me show you how it looks standing up. There is Marlena. Obviously with more items it stands up on its own, doesn't fall over, does the bag a little more justice I would say. so. There it is. And now what I will do is provide you a mod shot of Marlena as it looks on me when it is fully loaded with all these goodies. Overall, my thoughts on the MZ Wallace Marlena backpack are overwhelmingly positive. It is a beautiful, beautiful bag that is a perfect mix of casual and dressy. It features the classic detailing of MZ Wallace that includes this beautiful pleating on these pockets, as well as this long zipper pull. These are a couple details I neglected to mention when giving you a tour of the bag because I kind of take those features for granted. Whenever I think MZ Wallace, I think of pleating. I think of the long zipper pull. So rest assured that those classic details are on this backpack. It holds a ton, as you saw. Whether you're only holding a couple items or you're packing it to the max, when you are carrying this backpack, it looks beautiful on. When you're carrying it with the bare basic items like I do sometimes with a wallet and a pouch and some lip care products, it doesn't look frumpy and deflated and sad. When you're carrying it on your back, it still looks nice and you can see all the detailing and styling of this item and you can appreciate it. You don't need to feel like you have to pack it too much to show off its beautiful style. Obviously, when you pack it to the max, you need to be mindful of the fact that it will add weight to it. So if that is a concern of yours, just keep that in mind. As far as concerns when it comes to the bag, it's not a concern specific to Marlena, but it's a concern to backpacks in general, and that's security. When your bag is behind you and you don't have eyes on it, you always run the risk of possibly being a victim of pickpocketing. So without saying, hey, add a combination lock to the backpack, you're 
never going to be 100% secure because even if I were to say, for example, oh, I wish Marlena had zip closure. If the zipper is fluid and easy to get into without feeling it, which is typically the case with MZ Wallace and their zippers, they're very smooth and fluid. Someone could get in and out of your backpack without you even realizing. And now I kind of struggled because I'm holding it with one and trying to zip and unzip it with one hand but rest assured that their zippers tend to be very fluid and smooth so if that were the case for the main compartment if it were a zipper someone could get in there and get out and you won't even feel it so my suggestion in that regard would just be to pack it mindfully perhaps place your wallet at the very bottom if it's small enough to fit in the inside zipper compartment put it in there and just you know bear in mind what you have in here what is valuable to you what is important to you and just kind of pack it accordingly another concern of mine when it comes to this backpack is the price point. I'm a little torn because on the one hand I know that it is a more elevated backpack than what one would consider to be a backpack. When you're thinking I want to buy a backpack it's obviously not a basic backpack. It's got detailing, it's got more expensive you know fabric and leather and trim and hardware. So I understand why the price point is a little higher but part of me can't help but wonder if maybe it could come down a little bit. If you feel the same way that I do as far as the price point is concerned, you feel like the price is too rich for your blood or MZ Walls isn't currently carrying a color that speaks to you, don't forget about the resale market. In fact, that's where I picked up my beautiful Marlena. If you do own this bag and love it or hate it, share that information with me in the comments down below. I'd love to chat with you about bags. I love bags, as you know. So any and all chatter regarding bags is welcome on my page. So hit me up in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. If you like this video, please do make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.